Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a frenzied episode of Elden Ring as we stand upon the pinnacle of our achievement, having defeated Midra, Lord of Frenzied Flame, uh, who has met his maker. And we are ready to, uh, to move on. So we're going to go ahead and grab a couple quick level, uh, levels here with the runes that uh, were our reward. And I do mean a couple since we are pretty high up right now. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, now that we have 25 in mind, uh, we've got a couple directions that we can go to. I think I may go ahead and push it and take us to 30 mind just so that we can really maximize the amount that our uh, cerulean flasks are able to uh, to uh, provide us since we're rocking only two of them at the moment. Let's go ahead and pop this one to get us our next level up. And then uh, you may be asking, what is the plan? As far as I can tell, uh, this is in fact the end of this particular area. I don't see any other paths forward unless this is somehow a secret uh, door, which it is not. So my plan from here is actually to sort of retrace our steps and go around and chat to some of the NPCs that we've um, uh, encountered along the way because the world has changed. Uh, approaching the Shadow Keep here, uh, we were greeted with a notification that a great rune had uh, been shattered, which has me curious, and I would very much like to chat to the uh, various folks that we've met along the way and get their perspective on how, if at all, the world has changed. And that should be as easy as just hopping from Side of Grace uh, point to point. Kindly Mikola has discarded his great rune. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted, and follies better left forgotten haunt me once again. <sighs> once, in an attempt to free Lord Moog from his enchantment, I challenged Tender Mikola, only to have my own heart rather artfully stolen. I knew not how weak I was. I believed that with sufficient mastery, even an Empyrean would be within reach of my blade. I could not have been more mistaken. Mikola the Kind is a monster, pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Hmm. So Mikola presents themselves as some sort of benevolent uh, deity, but in fact hides something a bit more sinister. Or at least this that's this person's take on it. I guess we should maybe take that with a grain of salt. Righteous tarnished. Mikola the kind makes my blood run cold. I am loath to admit it. But even at this very instant, I wish to run very far away indeed. So what do you suggest? Righteous tarnished. I am... Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's chat with them. I don't feel it. It's broken. Kind Mikola's light is gone. Yeah, but so they had... I stand tall. They had the NPCs Together. under some sort of enchantment, I guess, Work. right? Together. For Mikola the kind. So this this person doesn't even really... Uh, more doesn't even really care that the uh, the charm effect, if you will, is gone. Let's see if there's anything additional they offer. Uh, various livers and such, but I don't think we need I don't that. No, what to do? Our mother abandoned her brood. She did not love us. We are her children. What should we do? Must we be sad forever? Oh, that's heartbreaking. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Put it behind you, remain sad forever. I am not qualified to make that assessment right now. I don't want to be making dialogue choices without talking to everybody. I don't know either. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well. That's awfully depressing. I'm so sorry. He seems like a, a nice fella. Let, I'm just out of curiosity. Let me rest real quick. And then talk to the uh, to this fella again and see if he still has the same dialogue. Righteous tarnished. I am. No. Okay, that's it. Um, cool. So we've checked in with them. Let's talk to Red Main Freya. Now the Red Mains that is uh, Radon's family, right? 
Oh, there you so are. are they related? If you happen to see Lady Leda, tell her that I'm striking out on my own. Don't worry. I've no mind to cross any of you. The guidance of kind Mikola remains etched into my very flesh. It's only... There's something that I must know. Uh, what do you intend to look into? Yeah. Kindly Mikola spoke of the vow he once made with General Radan. And it is here the vow shall be honored. I am a red main. I must know the nature of the vow. Are you like Radan's sister or daughter or like what? What sort of relationship are we going for here? I'll be out on my own for some time. There's something I must know. Yeah, the vow. What if you become our enemy? I sure hope not. There's no need for concern. I will be true to my word. Although I do feel a hint of regret, Lady Leda and Honorable Ansbach are of a special breed. How glorious it would have been had we met in battle as sworn enemies. Well, I sure hope they don't get mind controlled or something. It seems like that's what this situation is being set up for. I'll be out on my own for there's something. Okay, okay, got it. Um, so they, I, I assume we will encounter her in the wild somewhere now that we've made that uh, choice. Speaking of Letta, let's go in and talk to her, and I wonder if we can let her know what uh, the the Red Main Knight is going to do. Hello. Did you feel it? Mikula the Kind's enchantment appears to have broken. But while my devotion to kindly Mikula remains unchanged, by my troth I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving, those unfit to bask in tender Mikula's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. It's so interesting, the variety of responses that everybody's giving to not being uh, mind-controlled, for lack of a better term, anymore. Like, some of them are realizing that they very much do not like where they are. Some of them are kind of ambivalent or confused, and then, then Leta is just like, uh, I need more of this. I need, need more Mikula, <laughs> right. you know? It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be a kindly Mikula uh -oh. side. Suggest the horn scent. Uh, no, I'm not going to make a suggestion right now. Because I want to talk to everybody. Again, I'm, I'm reluctant to advance quest lines without understanding the full implication. Because this is the horn scent, right? Intriguing. What remains there to be said? Do you presume us allies even now? Though Mikola's spell is newly broken. I mean, I, I think so. Confess, the spell mattered little. Uphold his covenant, Mikola shall. And in godhood redeem our rueful clan. Then Marika and vilest Erdtree both will at last be from divinity wrenched. Hmm. But surely I... Contented I will be. Look, I sympathize with you somewhat. I feel like I am pro America but anti Erdtree. Is that is that possible for you to maybe split those allegiances? But first, clear resounds the call of vengeance. The okay. Impaler, Mesmer, must pay his due. In vengeance for the flames. My blade I wield. How could I allow myself to forget? Revenge alone assures me peace of mind. Mm. Think not to hinder me upon my path, lest you too wish to face the reckoning. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I also want to be honorable and consider the implications of my actions. Think not to lest you okay. All right. Uh, and then we need to go talk to this monk over here, Dryleaf Dane. I, I did not remember <laughs> that that was their name. Uh, so apparently, uh, which I do recall, uh, there is some sort of... Well, let's chat first. If... No, I forgot this person doesn't want to chat. There's some sort of gesture um, that was given to me that I picked up, I guess. Oh, gosh, and I really don't remember what it is. 
Um, what do you want? May the best... I think it was this one. May the best win. It's kind of the little formal bow. All right. Assuming that that is the case, I think that this person was challenging me to a fight, right? Well, let, let, there's an easy way to... No, let me just check my notes real quick. Uh, is that in... Where Where are notes kept? And these are a variety of cookbooks. Uh... Various maps. I don't want the maps. Prayer books. I don't know why I can't find the maps anywhere. Oh, here we are. Volcano Manor, Letter to Patches. It, it's, it was like, it was something called like Monk's, here we go, Monk's Missive. Terse il, uh, illustration, or terse message and an illustration of a monk. His hands held together, which is in fact the gesture, I believe. Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the way of a warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to a bout. There is no need for words. So, with that in mind, I guess we're going to fight, right? So let's go ahead and Blood Flame Blade up preemptively. Let's... Oh, actually, you know what? I, uh, before that, I forgot. We, we should probably switch out our uh, Wondrous Physic because this Crimson Whirl Bubble Tier is not super relevant anymore. Um, we'll just do Opaline Hard Tier for now. Uh, cool. So, we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll do that. Uh, where are they? Oh! Oh, nice one. Okay, well... Not the most challenging uh, encounter we've ever had. Oh, this guy only had... Drops 3,800 3, uh, runes. So now what? Is that a is this a phase one easy phase one challenging phase two scenario or or is that it? Dry leaf arts and Dane's hat. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> okay. The sun faded and lightly soiled hat of dry leaf Dane worn low over the eyes. It obscures the wearer's vision. Meeting the gaze of another can overcome the senses, often leading to the downfall of those who would walk the noble and solitary seeker's path. A technique for hand-to-hand -hand combat without the aid of a weapon, this martial art combines fist strikes and kicks. The teachings of a group of spiritual seekers known as the Dryleaf Sect revealed only to those of worthy valor and character. The price of this martial art marks the dawn of an ascetic's, ascetic's journey. The skill Palm Blast, skill of the spiritual seekers known as the Dryleaf Sect, imbues hand with energy before using a palm strike to unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power and impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. That's a very cool idea. Yeah, that's a, that's a very cool idea. I don't know if it's something that I'll necessarily attempt here in the near, near future, but I... I've always said, uh, even as, as long ago as my Dark Souls runs, that I've liked the idea of doing like a melee type build, either with the Kaistus or, or now even with this uh, martial art, um, uh, you know, skill tree that seems to be available to us now, so to speak. Interesting. Um, I'm wondering if I go back and tell Letta that I killed the monk, if she's going to care, or if she's too hellbent on... You just like general revenge to oh, really notice. Are. I've made up my mind. The horn sense will be eliminated. Oh. If he were to point his blade at Sir Mesmer or Queen Marika, perhaps it would not matter. But vengeance changes a man. And one day, his blade may turn towards Mikula the kind. Kindly Mikula is, after all, the true golden mm. child. Are you sure about Even that? Even if he discards every last drop of his being, his lineage will always remain. 
so the horn scent is gone. Uh, I wonder where he's gone I to believe now. The horn scent suspects what I have in mind. He never placed his full trust in me, even under the effect of kindly Nicholas' spell. He must have recognized something. The scent of the killer that slept within me. Yeah, I admit I'm a little disturbed now. So now what? I will follow the horn scent. To have his revenge on Sir Mesmer, there is only one place he will go. The Black Keep. Okay, well, I assume I'm going to be heading in that direction myself soon. I will follow the horns to have his river the black. Okay, well, good luck to you. Uh, or not. I'm not sure, actually, if I want to wish you good luck. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, this is really depressing. Our NPCs are really falling off fast. Uh, oh, and Ansbach is gone. Like, his little... Um, hmm, interesting. So... Horn Scent Grand Dam is there. So where is everybody now? She's about to disappear as well. I guess they're just going to move to their next quest location, right? Um, well, I, uh, if that's the case, then I suppose I should move on to my next uh, quest location as well. Uh, so now that this whole river area is done, I think... We sh I should be able to go back to the castle and um, the, the Shadow Keep and continue the exploration. Although, if Mesmer is in there, and I assume that Mesmer, since he's like the general of all of the, um, the like, uh, uh, sol soldiers that we've been fighting, I assume that's going to be like the final boss. So I don't necessarily know if we want to fight him straight away. Um, if there's a way to continue to sort of explore the periphery, I think that is what I would like to do. Uh, if possible. Now, we should be able to... Hang on for a second. How can we... The Village of Flies. Can I use the Village of Flies to get up here and then across the chasm and then across this bridge to go up here? I think I might have to. Um, but I'm, I don't know. This this also looks pretty high up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut here and see if I can leverage the Village of Flies to get up top here. And if I cannot, then I'll bring you back in and we will figure out plan B. So I wish I could report more success. Uh, unfortunately, either I'm not seeing it or there's not a way to realistically access that area up there uh, for the time being. Um, but we're in the vicinity and it has been suggested to me that it is worth our time to go ahead and take on these hippos. Much as I have been previously loath to do so, uh, I'm going to trust the, uh, the wisdom of the people. Vox populi, vox dei is uh is what they say um this is going to be a pain of a run back so hopefully there's a, a stake of america or something around here so here goes nothing all right not a great start go. That's better. Oh no. I want to crit. I want to crit. Oh god. There we go. Alright. Either I've gotten stronger or that guy is not nearly as powerful uh, as his uh, as his relative. Okay, well, Scattered Tree Fragment is nice. I guess they're they're kind of the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, the tri ulcerated tree spirits, or, or whatever, of the uh, Elden, Elden Ring world. Okay, cool. I 
I wish I had boys. God, I forgot about how I hate this one. That wasn't as painful as it could be. There we go. Where's his head? No, can I get the crit off, please? I guess not. There we are. All right. Well, that was not as bad as I thought it would be, uh, in all honesty. And second scatter tree fragment. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you to everybody who su who suggested that I come back here. You were right. It was worth it. Uh, I was, I was so sure that the other hippo would hear me aggro the first one that they were gonna come run over, and we would have to fight two at once. I. You know, a, a developer that puts a, a, a smithing stone one up here as the as the temptation would almost certainly make me fight two hippos at once. But I am pleasant surprised that was not the case. So uh, that particular thing is done. Cool. So, uh, gosh, I guess we just go back to the castle for now, right? For lack of a better direction to pursue. And let's see if we can turn in a fragment. Sure can. That is good news. Scattered Tree 10. Uh, oh, this is not where I want to be. I want to be actually inside the castle itself, I think. Um, so this is where we... Yeah, this is where we fought... Uh, the first golden hippo, right? It it took me a second to remember where I where I where we're at. Uh, let's go ahead and, and go away from the Uchi. Um, what do I want to do? Let's do a Morgoth's cursed sword. Uh, we're still at medium load, right? We could take off focus. We can just throw on. Um, what do we want to do? We could get max stamina upgrade. Let's just roll with that for a while. And see how it feels. Uh, I, I, I think I tentatively remember... Oh, let's make sure we're not heavy rolling. With that new talisman. No, we're okay. Still. Oh yeah, there's a guy on the stairs I have to get past. And the guy... I forgot about that guy. Uh, okay, we jumped there before. Oh no, we wait, we have come here before. Oh, I remember. I remember, I remember. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> I've got a giant. I got one of those like uh, comedic uh like things that people buy at joke shops with the the arrow on my head. <laughs> I forget what they're called. All right, let's hope the knights have given up their pursuit. All right. Oh, right. And there's there's somebody sketchy up on that bridge that we haven't fought yet. And I don't know if we've actually gone down here before, interestingly enough. Ah, super cool ability. I like how those guys are just standing there and be like, should we help? No, not my job description. Ooh, drawstring golden grease. Okay, cool. Oh, little shortcut. Hell yeah. Well, I don't think we need to rest right now. Exactly. Um, I do want to put Bestial Vitality back on, if I remember it. So, what we did last time is that we climbed down those stairs over there. Oh. What is this for? B 
be summoned to assist Needle Knight Lita. Oh, interesting. Or be summoned to assist Hornscent. Interesting. Oh, okay. So they're going to be uh, going at it down there, right? Think carefully. Yeah. Hmm. That's a great question. Uh, let me just kill this guy on the bridge real quick while I think about it. I'm not sure I'm... Uh, and he looks looks pretty sketched, so I'm going to go ahead and top off here. Even though I may not need to. He just looks intimidating. He's got a cool outfit. Oh, hell yeah. I hope I get their outfit. Okay. Are they just a common enemy? Yikes. That's a little uh, intimidating. Let me go ahead and throw this... Um, throw a marker on here so I don't forget it. Uh... This seems appropriate. So I've got I've got a choice to make. I just want to explore a little bit into the the castle first. And then maybe I'll come back and and think over the implications of my my instinct is to maybe side with horn scent. The only thing that that is cuz he's kind of seems like the underdog and I'm a sucker for an underdog story. The only thing is that he's like anti-America. Which I don't know if I am, you know? Oh, is that a divine beast that's dead? Or something? Huh. Because Leta just seems overly bloodthirsty. Is the, uh... Is, like, what is giving me pause. Because usually... The, you know, a person with that disposition is somebody who tries to present themselves as good or knowing what's best, but is actually, uh, you know, uh, clouded, have it that, with a clouded judgment, so. Anything here? Anything back here? No. Oh, maybe. Oh, there is something back here. Well, look at this. Can I pull the lever? There we go. Well, well, well. What have we here? It's his own personal little study or library or some such thing. Oh, nice. Uh, talisman as the reward. Boosts lightning damage negation by the utmost. The ancient dragons who ruled in prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. I think we've read that before, but that's fine. Good stuff to remember. Now, what's with the, uh, the blood stain in here? Who are they fighting? I think they were trying to fight the little um, vulgar militia fella. Feel a little bit bad, but at 1,400 souls a pop, how can I not? That's free money right there. Oh! Alright, so I went that way before. There's probably a vulgar militia somewhere in here, but they're so small. It's hard to know where they're going to pop out from. Anywhere? No? I guess not. Rune arcs don't get too many of those. Um, Alright, elevator is an option. Uh, is this... Is there anywhere else to go. Actually, yeah, up the stairs. Um, is... Hang on. 
Is this a shortcut right here? If this takes us back to the side of grace, then maybe we should use it first. Just so that we know. Um, oh no, it's the basement. Okay. Sure. I mean, we may as well look at this area. Huh. Be wary of left. Oh, them pots. Oh, oh no, just, oh, these guys. Okay. Mo pots, mo problems. Oh, this seems familiar. This is this is a little bit uh, round table hold esque with like up on the balcony and a bunch of stuff going on down there. Okay, cool. I wasn't even paying attention. What did I pick up? Wall of sparks. Oh, perfume bottles. Hmm. Interesting. I've had my fair share of run-ins with those folks. I'm I'm liking this sword quite a bit. Secret passage ahead? How sure are we? Pretty sure. Battlefield Priest's Cookbook, which gets us Sun Warmth Stone. A record of crafting techniques left by the devout Battlefield Priests. These keepers of the faith fought bitterly to spread their gospel in the realm of shadow, where there was no Erd tree to gaze upon. So they're devotees of um, the Erd tree, right? Who got uh, sucked here somehow. I'm still not entirely sure how people make it here. Uh, or, like, get sent here in the first place. Alright, I don't want these jars to come to life. But they might, still. Oh, there's a little one. I right, let him aggro to take his shell off. You you can come to me. There's a naked fella over there. Are you alone? No. Why Why would I think that you'd be alone? Alright, I'll take you guys on one at a time. Ooh, I don't like that little blood uh, pool that he's made around him. It's very sus. No harm done, though. What do we got? A talisman? A consumable. Place on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Huh? <laughs> um, plant, them on, plant on the eye of another to grant them the light of grace as a fleeting blessing. Can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by priests of the Ur tree to quell the fears of their flock to magnificent effect. This almost seems like a... Oh, I don't know. Can be used to receive the blessing of an equip equipped rune. So that is a uh, rune arc equivalent, right? But... Um, this almost seems like a story item that I need to save up for. Uh, I don't know. Is this to to help some of the NPCs not kill each other? You know? 
like, can I give it to the horn scent or to uh, Lita and and uh, cause them to seek out a more peaceful solution? Maybe it's probably wishful thinking. I don't know. I'm gonna hang on to it, obviously, for the meantime while we figure out what the situation is. Whoa. We go, do we need to go to the right first? I don't, actually, I don't think it matters. So far, we haven't had to fight any big jars. I mean, the the uh, the guys who live in the jars a little bit, who who the guys who break out of the jars, we've had to fight, but uh, haven't had to fight any proper big jars, warrior jars. All right, I guess we're good. The West Rampart. Ooh, summon sign. This is, what, probably boss time? Uh, let's take a look around. Don't see any other little hidden passages. What is this, like a, like a dog door? <laughs> or something? Oh, is this, is this locked? Oh, yeah, it is, okay. See, I thought this was going to be a boss fight, and it may still be. Can I push from this side? No, I've got to take the undignified little door to the right. Huh, this is very ominous. Time for vigilance. Be wary of up. Horse required. Oh, is this going to be, uh, dragon time? I assume it's going to be some court, some kind of dragon, uh, coming in hot. Oh, and there's a, uh, sorcerer. Yeah. So not... Not quite dragon, but... Oh, I, I wanted a crit! Didn't need it, though. It's fine. Salza's hood and rain of fire. Didn't even give him the chance to use his stuff on us, which is uh, pretty gratifying. It's pretty nice. Necessary item head. Are you sure? This feels like a like a trick. <laughs> I think it is a trick. Be wary of snake. Oh, <laughs> right there. I got, I got it. <laughs> uh, alright, alright. People making the same joke. Somber Smithing Stone 9? Whoa. Man, people sure love to just repeat jokes, don't they? I guess that's just the internet in general, right? There are, there's no such thing as original jokes. It's all somebody stealing from somebody else. All right, another side of grace already. That's a uh, pretty swell. Didn't expect blood stain. Okay. 
All right, now could this be a, a boss encounter? Where are we right now? What's this one called? Viaduct Minor Tower. Okay, so it's probably not the final boss, but it's feels like a boss maybe. Uh, so let's see. Can we spare a hundred thousand to level up? I don't think so. We may just have to risk it for the biscuit, which is fine. Uh, yeah, certainly not. Yeah, interesting. This Iris of Grace is on the same level as this Pure Blood Knight's Medal, which we got to uh, from what's his name, the guy with the white mask of uh, Vara, to pursue Moog's uh, confrontation quest, whatever. So this is almost certainly a, a quest item, but I don't know how to use it. Oh, ancient runes of Rao. Where are we right now? We've, we've wandered pretty far afield. Uh, there is an obelisk over here, number three. Is that... That's it right over there. Okay. But there's a sum, summon sign first, so I don't know what that means. Let's take a look over here. Yeah. Pretty swell view. Now that, okay, that's a boss arena coliseum thing over there. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm, I'm ready to fight a boss? Have I, have I said boss enough this episode? All right, exploration time, I guess. Anything? Oh. Uh, is there a way to get back there? Not from this side, at least. What about over here? No, we're going to have to circle around. Uh, we'll get to it. Try to do it methodically. We'll just we'll do left side then right side. Spirit Calculus? That's a new one. Exceedingly rare to find Calculus suffused with spirituality. Material used for crafting items. Found by hunting horned beasts in the ancient ruins of Rao. Has a distinctive acrid odor, which some claim to be a sign of particular spiritual potency. wonder if there's anything that we can use it for that we've already gotten the... Uh, the recipe book for. Here are these uh, hefty frenzied flame pots. Pretty cool. Sun warmth stone. We just got that. Uses FP to continuously heal nearby allies. I wonder. Yeah, it's. I th it seems like it's probably everybody nearby, right? Not just allies. I think that's that's one of those risk reward things where. It'll also heal your uh, enemy if they get close enough. Ooh, we've got a uh, dungeon here. I'm game. I wouldn't mind like a little catacomb or something. Oh, there's a ledge up there, huh? All right, what's your deal? Cramped area ahead. Be wary of lever. I don't know what that means. Be wary of dog, therefore target lock. Oh yeah, I see him. Not looking at me though, fortunately. So I can get the drop on him. Wow, 2,600 uh, runes for a, for killing a dog. Just goes to show the craziness of the, the scaling of this area. Where are we? Oh, that was dumb. I was just about to try to look at the, the non-existent map that we have. 
Um, wow. Very nice. That's number three. Yeah, so that's what we're aiming for. That's going to presumably reveal the map of the area. Oh. Uh, okay. Another golden hippo. Sure. Well, I guess we'll try fighting it. Let's go ahead and flask up for this one. Let's go ahead and try fighting it. I'm not going to switch weapons for this one. I just want to see how we do against it. Oh, that doesn't take us as far forward as I thought. Alright, don't have that timing quite down. Still no stagger. Oh, there we go. Give it to me. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey. Morgot sword. Uh, coming in pretty handy. Loving it. I think I may have said Mesmer sword. I meant to say Morgot sword. I do. I do know my M names. <laughs> As confusing though it may be. Oh, it is just a regular bear. I mean, it's red, but it's not the boss version. Which, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The boss version is significantly bigger. Which, they've got to be around here somewhere, right? I assume that they would, they're the, the proper boss version would come call, uh, you know, at the call of the smaller one. Maybe there's like a cave or something back here, or a den. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's the point of this? Is there, like, not another way to get in here? Is this, like, the only way for us to, to grab the item in here? Seems a little far. Um, like, let's say, oh, this is, that's an actual face. Let's say that we actually made it over there. Then what? I feel like the fall would still kill us, right? Or maybe not? I don't know. Should we try it? For the fun of it? Oh, no. Oh. Okay. I clearly... <laughs> Overestimated how high it was. Ooh, alright. A little bit of new stuff here. Uh, this gets us... Sprite Stone, and this is a Bond Stone. Large burrow stone studded with a perfectly white gem, said to be the polished form of a special kind of crystal. A ritual implement made to control explosions of spiritual power. Um... Bonds, but the spites were made to be broken. So this this must be a new sort of uh, like bairn type. Um... Wait, hidden path? Is there a hidden path? Or you're saying this way? There's a hidden path. It's kind of like those those bairns where you can uh, sick uh, like spirits on your enemies, right? Okay, so we clearly came at this backwards, but that's fine. Oh, another spider. Great. Or scorpion. Cool. Curved sword coming in clutch. Uh, why is it always more scorpions? 
Oh, it's, I didn't want to attack you. I wanted to attack your buddy. Oh, you're still alive. Okay. Cool. This feels like a lead up to a boss battle, right? Which might be a little bit of a problem because we don't have a side of grace because we did this slightly out of order. But, you know. Presumably, there'll be a stake of America, at least in the vicinity. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's heal up real quick. Some more spirit calculi. Anybody else that we can farm. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Is this a boss? Right here? these oh snails oh these guys I forgot we haven't fought one of these in a while all right we're stacking up quite a few runes Interesting. All right, I saw one other thing inside here that I want to check out. I think it was like a little side tunnel. Yeah, we came at this very backwards. All right, jump attack. Oh, boss time? Or no. <laughs> or maybe? Oh, that's why they say jump attack. Okay. Okay. Throw that on there. Let's just heal up. There are more? Oh, there's more fellas up there. Trying to aggro them one at a time. Uh oh. Stay over here. Let's have them roll themselves into the wall if we can. Go ahead, try to hit me here. Alright, that's good. Super. And a little uh, FP refill, which is nice. Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to get them to shatter this, uh, this statue. Oh, man. There's a lot more guys to clear out in here.
This seems weirdly like a weirdly empty area as well. Oh! Oh no! Oh god, grab attack again. There we go. Jeez. Those guys are not so fun. Ascetics, huh? Alright. Let me just kill this guy real quick, if I can. And they usually drop something good, right? Okay, more... Oh, Scatter Tree Fragment! Hell yeah! Cool. That's actually great news. Alright. I think this is probably a good pausing point. Fly, noble bird. Dog ahead? Oh, I killed... Uh, wait. Oh, side of grace ahead, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a quick break here. When we come back, we've got more of the creepy tomb interior to clear out. Getting closer to this Colosseum, where clearly something will be confronting us. Um, maybe at some point we'll actually get the <laughs> map for this area. Um, but, you know what? Who needs maps? They're overrated anyway. Blind exploration, stumbling into stuff. That's the name of the game here. Thanks so much for watching, y'all, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.